It's a safe bet that most people viewing this video have received their high school diploma. Maybe looking back, that high school graduation was as much a milestone as it was a mark of achievement in our lives. But that isn't the case for everyone. Too many never did graduate high school, never got their GED, and never hit that milestone. Bad luck, bad decisions, or both had something to do with this failure. And too often it leads to more failure. Until eventually, some of these folks who never graduated see themselves as nothing but failures, especially as they see themselves from inside the walls of a prison. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to welcome you all. On a quiet November morning, that lifelong baggage of failure in the lives of 79 people is about to be tagged with something quite different. I don't know about you, but for the first time in my life, I've actually accomplished something and it feels absolutely amazing. I have no intention of letting it end here. We need to always be in search of more knowledge and never become complacent in our current situations. Asia Rizzo is the valedictorian of the fall winter commencement at MTC's Gadsden Correctional Facility in Quincy, Florida. Asia and dozens of other female offenders gathered together in visitation with family, community supporters, and staff to take part in the celebration of their success. A handful of these graduates included impressive vocational certifications and other notable achievements. So as you continue on in your present journey, keep in mind the words of F. Scott Fitzgerald, never confuse a single defeat with a final defeat. Personally, it's, it means the world to me. I'm ecstatic, I'm just at, it's very sentimental to me. I'm just very proud that I accomplished something being incarcerated. Makes me feel good about myself. I don't feel like a bad person anymore. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. She's walking on fire. Yeah. This girl is on fire. Basically, what we witnessed today is uh, rehabilitation in action. Community leaders who attended the graduation all came away with powerful impressions of what goes on within the Gadsden facility. I got the impression that it's more than a correctional facility. We are looking at security, we are looking at rehabilitation, but we're also looking at how do we return these individuals to the community. We want to send them back better than what they were. The bonding program, believe it or not, I care, it really showed, and that's what we've seen today. One community leader was asked to give the keynote address. You have less now, but you've done more with less than you've done before. Take that to Wear it like a badge of honor. Come on out of here and get ready to go to work, because here's a commissioner that's telling those employers, employers, that listen, Today was just uplifting. Um, again, the hope, the smiles, the celebration. There were a lot of tears in the room and there were tears of, of joy and accomplishment. What it does for me is it just re, re solidifies what I believe in. What we believe in as a whole, people can change. Though it was hard to say goodbye, everyone there that morning knew the day would soon be coming that these offenders would once again be reunited with their families, this time 
outside of these walls. And to make it out there, and to stay out there, they'd need to hold on to that feeling of newfound belief in themselves. A confidence gained by accomplishing a once dismissed lack of achievement. Confidence gained by confronting failure and replacing it with success.